today I wanted to show you this little ger riceroni journal that I made. I call it a riceroni journal because this used to be a riceroni box. Because it is a junk journal. But you can't tell. And there's no riceroni in it, so. So let's see what is inside. The closure is attached because I actually used the sari silk to sew in the signatures. You'll see that in a minute. Okay, so we've got a tag. And then we've got a little bit of collaging on this page with still room to journal. Journaling space. This is a cute little um, page out of a cross-stitch book, and it's about Peter Cottontail, his family tree. <laughs> this is a floating pocket that I've just got clipped on this page. It's made from an index card that I dyed and did some stenciling on, and it's, it's just got some little bits and pieces of things in here. And it's held in with a paper clip, so that's now disappeared. Oh, here it is. So you can put it anywhere you want to, or you could glue it down on a page. I actually made it for a larger journal, so it would normally go this way, which is why I didn't glue it down. Let's get that clipped back on there. Okay, this is a magazine page out of a flower catalog, but I thought it went well with the colors. The green. This is some avocado dyed paper. This little clip on, this little clip comes off. And you could put it over the page. It's got a little tag in it. Comes out. And it's got a little pocket with some, a few little... Come back here. A few little uh, pieces of ephemera in it. And then there's also a pocket right here. It's got a little journaling card. I just think this is absolutely adorable. And you, you could put it on the page any way you could put it like this, like this, like this, however you want. But I think it looks cute with the paper clip. It's a piece of material, but it almost reminds me of a feather. And then you put it on at the top and it pokes out of the top of the book of the journal when it's closed. I just, I love that look. But like I say, you can put it anywhere. Mushroom. Love mushrooms. Okay. This is some, uh, I believe this is coffee dyed. Either coffee dyed or tea dyed that I made. Some more avocado paper. And a library card pocket with library cards. And I couldn't decide which one. So I put all three in there. Pretty printable. And here is a specimen card. And a journaling card. And on this side, we've got... Another journaling card. Well, this actually, I guess, is just a little informational card about Yarrow. And then this is a pocket. I don't know if you can see. It's probably showing up as a glare. But this was a... pretty sure this was a, a page protector. And I sewed it around there. And then this got just miscellaneous things in here little um, advertisement piece of paper that you could journal on and just little bits and pieces. Little uh, fussy cut if you wanted to, to glue it on a page or 
somewhere else. Just different things that have to do with plants and roses and gardening and things of that nature. See if I can get it all in here. There we go. And you could also clip this on a page as well. But I just thought it it fit nice in this pocket. And we've got another little collage over here with room to journal. And then journal on the back. This is a little envelope that I made out of uh, a napkin. I decoupaged it onto some freezer paper. And then made the pocket. There's nothing, nothing inside. I was going to put some little buttons or something in there, but... I figured I would just leave it, and whoever gets the journal can can put it put in it what they want. Is this a tuck? No, I was thinking about making it a tuck, but she seems enough just by herself. I didn't need to be too extra. Some more coffee dyed paper, all with one of those um, fussy cuts that I did, and and. When I say that I did, I didn't make these, but I did cut it out and put it on the page. Some little fringe, avocado dyed paper. This is just a, a printable that I got to, to glue on the back side of um, the magazine page because I, th I think it was an order form or something, and it just really it just didn't look good at all. So covered it up. More avocado paper. This is the other half of that cross stitch paper. And here's a mushroom tag that I made. It's, uh, this stuff is really soft. I know it looks like moss, but it's, it's, it's really soft. So I thought it would really cool with the mushroom look. It's just a tag. You could do a little bit of journaling on the back on the coffee dyed paper. So plenty of room for journaling. In this little tiny journal, it's 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 like a fun size. <laughs> oh, and then we've got the last page, and we have on the inside we've got another pocket and a tag I made with again. This is a, a decorative napkin that I've decoupaged onto the tag, and this this gets flattened out. This little bow. But once you take it out, you can just poof it up, and it, it, it poofs right back up. So, there you go. And then you just take your your tie. Oh, I wanted to show you, too, on the inside. You can see that, that's, that I used the, um, it just has the one signature. I used the sari silk itself to tie the signature in. So, you don't ever have to worry about this coming loose. Or losing it because it's it's in there good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the flip through this little journal. And if you're interested, it is going to be in my Etsy shop uh, later on today. So with all that being said, if you like journal flip throughs and tutorials and craft with me's, anything to do with junk journals or or um, mixed media art things like that. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I've been away for a while, but I'm going to start doing more videos again. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, share it, and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.